Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of Let's Play Fagsanadu. Uh, the pilot didn't seem to go too bad. Um, yes, I'm aware that um, when during like movement and stuff, the uh, screen um, blurs a little. Um, it doesn't, I don't feel it makes the video unwatchable. It's a minor annoyance, but that's either on the side of ScreenFlow or YouTube, I don't know, but it's not anything to do with the actual, you know, I mean, it's nothing I experienced while I'm recording. As I say, it's after recording, after it's processed, and after it's uploaded to YouTube. So I'm guessing it's an issue on YouTube's end. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know if you noticed, but since last time, I uh, did a bit of grinding, I backtracked and went out into the overworld down, down here and a little bit further on where that wall was that we used the magic on, um, there's a little spot there where you get two of uh, them little dwarfy things that drop coins that group together, um, as I say, and um, above the ladder, a little bit higher up, there's also one solo um, dwarf that drops a coin up there as well. What I do is do the one up above first, go downstairs, um, go down the ladder, sorry, and do the ones below. And um, sometimes then, when you kill them two, there's a um, chance that a red potion will spawn. So, what I was basically doing was killing them over and over, and then every time a red potion spawned and I was low on health, just used one of them, as I say, and that kept me with still one red potion left, after all that. Which is good, because it saved me spending 400 apiece. Now, I've not spent much of the money since I, I made sure I grinded to at least 10,000. Hopefully that'll be enough for what I need, but can't guarantee. If not, we'll just try and play ahead anyway while I'm grinding up on screen, we'll see. Um, the only thing that I've spent of the money that i grinded up is a little bit for dried meat to bring me health up a little bit. Um, other than that, I've not spent anything, um, so you can actually see what I'm going to get on screen now. So, let's get going into the tool shop. Hello, uh, so tools, what would you like? Yeah, you'll get fed up with seeing all of that. It's just the same thing over and over. What would you like? Now, let's first and foremost get ourselves a shield because I do believe it does protect a little against magic. Maybe it causes you to have damage from magic if anointment is in effect. I don't know, in which case, when anointment is in effect, I want to equip the shield. But other times, I think it does help protect against um, against magical attacks a little bit. The more powerful the shield, the more it protects, obviously. So let's buy a small shield. It's a shame we didn't get it from the previous store. As I say, I can't go back there now because the wall's in the way. But um, if we did, it probably would have been a little cheaper. There we go. 1,100 for that. And let's also get a long sword. So we'll be dealing more melee damage, and I think we can also use them, if we use them the right way, we can also use them against them little spiky things, which helps us save magic even more. We only use magic at range and when we really have to. Longsword. Ignore the wing, wing boots there at the bottom. Um, we'll pick up some of them in a dungeon anyway for when we need them. So um, we don't need to waste money on them. We've got pretty much everything that we need now. Um, I'm going to pick up another red potion as well, even though the 400 here. Because um, I'd sooner have another red potion to stop, just in case. There we go. And we've still got over 7 grand left, so obviously I did, you know, I did gorge grind at this much. <laughs> I got more than enough. Um, more dried meat as well, so we can get our power up to maximum. 150 gold, yes, yeah, just can put it up there. Thank you. Thank you for shopping. Yes, thank you very much. I'm gonna check see if the guru has a title for me because after that grinding I've got a bit of experience built up. I don't know that the title necessarily does anything, but it's nice to get it anyway. Yeah, I shall give you a title. Adept. <laughs> Adept or whatever. Make sure you live up to it. Is that all? Yeah, and then he gives us the uh, password thing, but as I said, I'm not going to use the passwords because it's just too awkward. 
I'm just going to save state every save state every time. Not I'm going to write this moment. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it lags a little bit during save state, and that doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in here first and talk to these fellas. Well, this fella. The woman isn't walking around here now like she often does. I hear quite often about a fountain in the sky. When you go down from the town, you'll come to a place where the sky opens above. They say a fountain is up in the sky. But you need wing boots. That's okay, there's a uh, dungeon we can get the wing boots from. And in the meantime, let me check my items. Do I have a key, Jay? Yeah, I need that. I need at least one of them. Um, I think we're already set up then. Um, set off even. Let me just equip myself. Weapon. Long sword. Ah, that's better. Armor, we've already got that equipped. See, there's the initial lever armor, and then there's a studded mail that I've got now. So I wonder whether that means I can sell my lever armor and get a bit of money. I'll try that in a second. Shield, small shield. There we go, we're fully equipped. And I'm going to try and sell that uh, armor now. Just to see if I can. Every penny counts, after all. What would you like? Come here to sell. Which one would you like to sell? <laughs> Nope, we can only sell our red potions. Sell them for, yeah. You sell them to us for 400, and then you buy them at half that price. I know you want to make profit, but that's going a bit too far, don't you think? Right, up here we need to go, I believe. Oh! Balls! I hate going up there for that very reason, and ghosts do my nutting. They are so... <sighs> you see... <sighs> You'll probably see a lot of epic fails here, or a lot of swearing. Oh no, we got lucky that time. Just be fast. And I think it does protect me a little bit against the magic. It only protects a tiny bit. Still take damage from the magic but we do take a little less damage, I believe. Oh, balls, didn't mean to do that. Now he's respawned. And now my health's getting low. Try and make the jump. Yeah, got it. Now, if we look here, there is a mark of Jack by the keyhole, which means we need another key J, which I just happen to have in stock. I can use key. Dungeon music again. And two of these fuckers straight away. By the way, up there, that is not a red potion. That is poison. You go down there, touch that, it will damage you. Dead. I don't know whether I dare risk going on. Let's see. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Okay, time to item, red potion. Desperate times and all that. You get down here. kitted out here we can still take quite a bit of damage. Now I believe, yeah, we can use our sword against them now. Okay, let's see if we can... There we go. Yep, we stabbed him. That will save on the magic. Maybe use the magic against bosses then, or when we really need to make a quick kill. Oh, hate it when they do that! There we go. Further we go. Oh, almost didn't make the jump. What we got? Now I think we want to go to the left first. I'm not certain though. Uh, 
but I'll try and go into the left first. I'll have to explore a bit because I really can't remember. And look, we have one of these guys again. I hate these guys. And we're dead! Okay. Because I don't want to lose all my goals, gold even, let me reload the save state air. You might see a lot of epic fails like this. I did say it's semi blind. Okay, let's try again. Oh, f fiddle friggin' bits. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh! Hate them guys! Up we go. There we go. Up. And let's take this guy out again. And that guy. Oh, bollocks. Of course we're taking more damage. I forgot to... There we go. Here we go. That fountain there, by the way, will restore that, and you see the door hidden up there. We'll open that the way to that very shortly, and that will lead to another section of the overworld. I think we'll get a little different and a little tougher then. Does this day already tough? <laughs> PJ, in we go. Let's try again. Let's see how long before I die this time. I told you I might not be talking the whole time. Sometimes I might be focusing on playing, sometimes I might not be sure what to tell you guys, but don't worry, I'm still here as you can see. And as you'll know by the uh, random exclamations when I get my arse handed to me on occasion. Okay. Still got a good bit of gold stored up at least. Maybe I could have bought the wing boots and saved myself a little bit of trouble, but. Oh well, doesn't matter right now. I hate that when you have to get hit there. <laughs> I've not worked out how to avoid getting hit there yet. Over we go. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try going right this time. Maybe I should have waited for him to drop first. And my health is getting very low, so I don't know if I'm going to survive still. See, even with a shield, magic is still very damaging. Let's use a spell village against him. See, that spell is sold to you, but these guys can spam it as much as they like. doesn't hurt me. Okay, now I'm in trouble. I might have to use my second red potion here. This is something that I really didn't want to do. Now let's see what's over here. Am I going the right way? That looks like it might be a poison. But it might be a red potion as well. I'm not sure. No, poison, great, I just injured myself. Sometimes it's hard to tell the two apart. So you might think it's a red potion when it's a poison, or you might think it's a poison and avoid it when it's a red potion and it could have helped you. So sometimes if you're higher up on health, it might be worth trying to take the risk. 
So I just always used to just ignore them, because like I say before, I used to play the game uh, with game cheaty cheats, and I didn't really need health boosts because I had an infinite health cheat run. This way, I think. Nope. Let's go this way. Let's get that little mini boss with magic. Or not. <laughs> Mix both. That's got me a good bit of money in place. Now it's over here. Here we go. Another bossy guy. Let's get past him. Come up here. There's an elixir. Highly useful. And then kill him and he'll drop wing boots for you. There we go. Holding wing boots. Now they're what we need ne next. Guru Guru, you need to visit somewhere here, and he gives you a particular ring to be able to um, revive a spring. But I think you need to visit the first spring, the spring in the sky, first. I think that's how it works. Or he gives you um, a key to, act, to um, get a uh, to activate a spring in lower down. I cannot remember exactly how it works. Unfortunately, I have no red potions left, which is not good because my health is really low. I know I've got the elixir, but they're better for boss fights and for battles where you're likely to get killed fast. Hate this guy. Yeah, I'm going to end up having to use my elixir. I can see it coming now. I'm not going to survive for long. And there's the guru. Yep, told you. Elixir's been used. Well, let's go into the Guru's place. Did he give it to us yet? No, go below the blue sky, you'll find a fountain in the sky. Yep, so we have to go to the fountain in the sky first, revive that one, then go back to this fountain. Oh, balls. Ah, that's where the poison is, be careful, don't touch the poison. Good. And by the way, when we go back in here, we'll need another key jack, so we'll have to pick one of them up on our way back in town, which is fine, because then we can restore health and just, you know, pick ourselves up in general. And maybe try and stock up on a few red potions as well, because I've got a little bit of spare cash. See, so we're back over 10, 10 grand again now. Before that, though, that's good. Use the uh, wing boots. We can use them. We'll try and use them from here. And try and fly from here. Hopefully, they won't get wasted. I use wing boots. Let's see if I remember how to use them. Just jump up and then hold up. That's it. And then we float like that. And then we drop. And then we drop some more. And then keep in the sky. Eventually, the sky will open up, and we'll be able to get through this like little ceiling in the sky. There we go. Got to be careful. Something knocks us, just ignore it. Just ignore these guys because we need to get higher. And the ring, the ring boots only last for a certain period of time. There we go. We're up. Now talk to this fella. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll tell you about the water of the spring. Boots fallen asleep. The water was poisoned. The poison is almost gone, so it's all right to wake him up. Watch. Something is wrong. Oops. Okay. Hell knows what that was about. Get the key from the guru, well, he means guru, in the tower of wherever and search for the undiscovered first fountain. Yeah, that'll have to come soon. But before that. Oh, how are the wing boots is gone? Yeah, the wing boots are expired. Now let's try and kill these guys to get some even more cash. And let's try and survive as well because we have no red potions. There is somewhere we can get red potions over here though. A red potion over here though, sometimes it'll spawn. And if we can survive for long enough. Ah! It didn't spawn. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. 
Uh, now what I'm gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna make another save state just in case. Okay, because I can see myself dying. Told you. Let's try and load that save state up. Let's just try and avoid as many enemies as possible. Yay! Ah, this is going to be very difficult and take a long time. So you might see me reload in this save state a lot of times. You could call it a cheat or an exploit. But, and what I'm going to do as well is keep trying to respawn this. There we go. There we go. There's the red potion. Yes, use that right away because we bloody well need that. And what I might try and do is try and grind for another red potion. So I've got one spare to help me on my way back or whatever. Or we'll grind for two if I can. So this might get a little boring for you guys. Sorry, but I'm not going to do this off screen. and we're getting gold while we're doing this as well. So we're actually making a profit. Eleven thousand four hundred and ninety gold so far. Yep, it's still not spawned, but don't worry, we're still getting gold and experience as we're doing it. I don't think the experience still much, but there we go, there's our second one. Holding red potion. Don't run out of way to kill now, but kill some anything that gets in our way. So you avoid these. Because if we battle, then we lose health. I really don't want us losing health at the moment. Well, not too much, anyway. I don't want to have to use one of them potions, that's what I mean. I'd sooner use the doctor when we get back into town. TJ. Let's grab two actually, just to be on the safe side. Well, actually, no, let's just get one, because if we have to go back then. Uh, let's get a key queue as well. We'll need that later on, you'll see. For that hidden door up there that, we, that I showed you before. Let's get another key chain. See, the more expensive now, twice as much, 200. That's the thing you see. I mean, money's not hard to come by. You get the same amount, roughly, but you'll roughly get the same amount of money as you go. And things get gradually more and more expensive and like, I mean, ridiculously more expensive. Ah, oh, hate that guy. Okay, back into this dungeon again. We'll clear this area, and then before we go into the next overworld area, I'll wrap things up. Because I don't want to be spending too long on here. I don't know how long we've gone already, you see. Someone's messaging me on my phone. They can wait, because I'm recording my LP. There we go. Oh, balls! I did it again! Oh, well. 
more money I guess. And something else I'm going to do as well, just give me a second to pause this game. I want to shut something off. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, let's carry on. You see, we do it again though, it's a mark of, you see, you can only use the key once apparently. So let's use the key J again. I've used key. See, I'm not sure whether I have to come back here again after this time or whether I can revive the spring in here and then go see the guru and then get the uh, little key to actually open the door down below for the last spring. See, I can't remember. It's been a little while since I've played it. Uh, floss, as, as I say, I think this is the first time I've played it, you know, without, without cheats and actually even got this far. Jump. Jump! There we go, just made it. And... find that spring first. Well, I want to try and find that spring. You want to watch me try and find that spring and try and stay alive in the meantime. Which is proving gradually more and more difficult. Okay, that's where we went, the way we went up last time, I believe, but this is the way we're going this time. Because I think this is the way that the spring is. And I hate these guys! There we go. go and stayed alive. I'm not going to use the red potion just yet, going to see how long I can stretch it out for. I should have bought a couple more red potions from the tool shop as well. Really stocked up on them before this dungeon crawl, but now oh well. And there's the bloke with the spring. Let's try and get up to him and stay alive and not get knocked all the way down there for God's sake. Here we go. Now please revive the spring. You've done well to get here. This is the spring of trunk. You need elixir to revive the spring. Ah, oh, will you give me your medicine? Come back when with the medicine. Yeah, so we have to go back to the one with wind boots, pick up the elixir and stay the fuck alive. Jesus. Yes! Sod off. And we're almost dead, so let's use a red potion now. We have no choice. And I think that's an ointment. If it is, it will protect us from damage. Yeah, I'm free from injury because of the ointment. But, what it does mean, is we want to and we can't want to equip our shield, apparently. So now we're in trouble, because magic can still hurt us. I think. Yeah, I told you. Magic can still hurt us because of the shield. But touching enemies won't hurt us. It's just the magic. Oh shoot, I touched poison and that still hurts. And the power of the ointment is gone. Now we're in trouble. Now we can be hurt. Told you. And now I'm stuck. Thank you guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. Let's go to him first. Oh no, because he's down there. So let's go to this guy first. There we go. Got him. Bit of lag there. Oh shoot! Where did I last save? 
Oh no, it was there, wasn't it? <sighs> Guys, I'm going to wrap this up, okay? I'm going to wrap this up earlier than I expected. I really, I really didn't expect to fail this epically. Uh, I don't want to be spending this much time for it, Tempted. Uh, in the next episode, I'll try and get myself back up to that spring where we where we were, where we reactivated that spring, as I say, and then we'll go from there in the dungeon, okay? I'll do everything else off screen so you don't have to see me do it all over again. Um, but yeah, it's going to take a long time if we're going to keep dying like this and I keep making death mistakes like this, so um, we're going to wrap it up for now. Um, this is J100R, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.